and a beautiful, amazing, bright day to all of you out there. Thank you for joining my channel. Thanks for being here. We're here studying the lessons of A Course in Miracles, and today we're going to be doing lesson number 93. So get ready for another doozy of a lesson from Jesus today. And we're going to start off in an interesting way. Here we go. You think you are the home of evil, darkness, and sin. You think if anyone could see the truth about you, he would be repelled, recoiling from you as if from a poisonous snake. <gasps> you think if what is true about you were revealed to you, you would be struck with horror so intense that you would rush to death by your own hand, living on after seeing this being impossible. These are beliefs so firmly fixed that it is difficult to help you see that they are based on nothing. That you have made mistakes is obvious. That you have sought salvation in strange ways, have been deceived, deceiving and afraid of foolish fantasies and savage dreams, and have bowed down to idols made of dust. All is true, but what you now believe. Today we question this, not from the point of view of what you think, but from a very different reference point from which such idle thoughts are meaningless. These thoughts are not according to God's will. These weird beliefs he does not share with you. This is enough to prove that they are wrong, but you do not, but you do not perceive that this is so. Why would you not be overjoyed to be assured that all the evil that you think you did was never done, that all your sins are nothing, that you are as pure and holy as you were created, and that light and joy and peace abide in you? Your image of yourself cannot withstand the will of God. You think that this is death, but it is life. You think you are destroyed, but you are saved. The self you made is not the son of God. Therefore, this self does not exist at all. And anything it seems to do and think means nothing. It is neither good nor bad. It is unreal and nothing more than that. It does not battle with the son of God. It does not hurt him nor attack his peace. It has not changed creation nor reduced eternal sinlessness to sin and love to hate. What power can this self you made possess when it would contradict the will of God? Your sinlessness is guaranteed by God. Over and over, this must be repeated until it is accepted. It is true. Your sinlessness is guaranteed by God. Nothing can touch it or change what God created as eternal. The self you made evil and full of sin is meaningless. Your sinlessness is guaranteed by God and light and joy and peace abide in you. Salvation requires the acceptance of but one thought. You are as God created you, not what you made of yourself. Whatever evil you may think you did, you are as God created you. Whatever mistakes you made, the truth about you is unchanged nice to hear, right? Creation is eternal and unalterable. Your sinlessness is guaranteed by God. You are and will forever be exactly as you were created. Light and joy and peace abide in you because God put them there. In our longer exercise periods today, which would be most profitable if done for the first five minutes of every waking hour, begin by stating the truth about your creation. Light and joy and peace abide in me. My sinlessness is guaranteed by God. Then put away your foolish self images and spend the rest of the practice period in trying to experience what God has given you in place of what you have decreed for yourself. You are what God created or what you made. Self are one self, sorry, <laughs> one self is true. The other is not there. Try to experience the unity of your one self. Try to appreciate its holiness and the love from which it was created. Try not to interfere with the self which God created as you 
by hiding its majesty behind the tiny idols of evil and sinfulness you have made to replace it. Let it come into its own. Here you are, this is you. And light and joy and peace abide in you because this is so. You may not be willing or even able to use the first five minutes of each hour for these exercises. Try, however, to do so when you can. At least remember to repeat these thoughts each hour. Light and joy and peace abide in me. My sinlessness is guaranteed by God. Then try to devote at least a minute or so to closing your eyes and realizing that this is a statement of the truth about you. If a situation arises that seems to be disturbing, quickly dispel the illusion of fear by repeating these thoughts again. Should you be tempted to become angry with someone, tell him or her silently, light and joy and peace abide in me. My sinlessness is guaranteed by God. You can do much for the world's salvation today. You can do much today to bring you closer to that part of salvation that God has assigned to you. And you can do much today to bring the conviction to your mind that the idea for the day is true indeed. And I actually want to go back and repeat, correct a statement that I just made. If you become angry with someone, you actually say this to him or her. Light and joy and peace abide in you. Your sinlessness is guaranteed by God. Interesting mistake there, Sherry. But this, this is where you become that um, nurturing, loving, almost parental figure to whoever you have a grievance with. And you're seeing the Christ in them and you're seeing their sinlessness. And you know that also in them, light and joy and peace abide in that person or those people or whatever. So thanks so much for joining me today. I, um, I don't have a special teaching or a meditation to add here today. Uh, I, I did wake up this morning and read the lesson and feel the energy of it. So that's really what it was for me today. It was more of a sense of surety and knowing that, first of all, Jesus repeats these things so many times. Our sinlessness is guaranteed by God. Light and joy and peace abide in our being. And so maybe we don't see that, maybe it's not obvious, but that is the truth. And so I think what was coming to me was just that feeling of, of what it feels like to just be in the truth. And it was peaceful. There was really nothing gnawing on me, nothing saying, you know, I, I need to do something or I need to act or anything. It was just in that awareness of light and peace and joy and, and feeling sinless, really forgiving every single mistake I made, everything that I've held against myself. And then when I start to even think of others, it's like, well, it's the same for them. Everything is forgiven, every moment of their lives, every you know, terrible, awful thing someone may have done out there in the world that isn't real, they too are completely sinless and forgiven and light and peace and joy abides in them. So it's just this really reflective mirror that today's lesson is offering us to see yourself with and see the world with and to move forward with a real sense of, you know, we're, we're believing things about ourselves and about other people that are based on nonsense, stuff that we made up, um, habitual thinking and perhaps programming and, and all the cynicism and judgment that, that rules our society. You don't have to take those things in anymore. You can be aware of them, notice them, and tell them that your sinlessness is guaranteed by God. Thank you very much. Light and joy and peace abide in me. Thank you very much. And then just say, check please, to all that other stuff. We don't need it. We don't need it. So please make sure that you're getting your hydration every day, everyone. Light and joy and peace abide in the water that I'm drinking. Bird just flew overhead to confirm that what I said was absolutely true. So have a wonderful day. Enjoy this lesson. Let those things cycle through your mind. Believe it. Let it soften you. Let it open your heart. Let it drift into those places that are so stuck and so just blocked 
blocking love's presence. Let these lessons come in. Let these statements come in and work on you today. Ask for help. Ask to be opened. If you're very sort of against this or it just doesn't feel like it's working for you, ask for some help. You'll get it. I promise you. You've always been the same beautiful, perfect, sinless being. And one day you'll realize that too. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you back here again tomorrow.